So these polynomial functions are really useful in the medical um, area. That's why a lot of this is studied. Um, most of it is used in medical. Um, so here's just a brief explanation of where one application could be done. So we've got a function here, W of N, and this is the weight W in pounds of a patient during a seven-week illness, um, and N is the number of weeks since the patient became ill. So again, we're going to just plot points and plug and chug and see what we can come up with for what a graph's going to look like. It's a cubic, so it should be our typical curve where it's doing something like that. Um, our leading coefficient is positive, so I've got that going the wrong way. So we should be coming in this way. So that's about how it should look, somewhere in there. But we've got no idea what these numbers are going to be, so we'll just erase that on off of there and start plugging in numbers. Um, since we're talking about number of weeks, it would make no sense to go negative because we wouldn't talk about nugget of weeks, so we'll just start at zero, which is at the time the person became ill. So if I plug in a zero up there, I should end up with 0 0.1 times cubed minus 0 0.6 times squared plus 110. And we're going to start off with zero being the number in here, which should just give us a 110 on that first one. So then I can plug in and I'm going to see what happens at the end of one week. So if I fill a 1 in for there and I grab my calculator and I figure out what that's going to be, I end up with a 109.5. So let's put that in my table, 109.5. And then I'll take those ones out and I'll put in a 2. And so I'm going to plug that value into my calculator, that expression, and see what that value gives me back. And wherever I plug all that in, I end up with a 108.4. And then I'm going to try 3, and I'm going to keep going until I get through 7. So I'll take out the 2, and then I put in my 3. And when I put in a 3, I get 107.3. So all these values are decreasing at this point. At some point, I do expect it to turn around and start going in the positive direction, because this patient shouldn't continue to lose weight forever. Hopefully at some point this patient gets healthy and gets better and starts gaining weight again. So whenever I put in my week four, let's see what that gives me. Uh, 104, 106.8, so I'm still losing weight at this point. So let's put in week five. Plug that into our calculator. And at week five, oh, I start to regain my weight, and I'm at 107.5 again. And then I'm going to plug in week six, and I should just continue to gain weight there on out, hoping for a healthy recovery. So at week six, I'm back up to um, 110 pounds. And then if I plug in week seven, maybe I'll get myself really plump here with this expression. And I'm at 114.9. Okay, so then after that it would become useless because we know the patient's not going to be coming way more heavy than they were before they got sick. So I can start graphing these points. Um, so my smallest number up here is approximately 106, so I'll make a break in my graph, and I can start this at 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, and 114 is going to be way up there. So my 106, let's see, I'm at 0 and 110, so 0, 110 is right here, and then at 1 week, I am at 109.5, 0, 
and at two weeks, I'm at 108.4. And then at three weeks, I'm at 107.3. And then at four weeks, I'm at 106.8. Five weeks, I'm at 107.5, so I'm gaining my weight back now. Six weeks, I'm back up at the 110. So as soon as I get healthy, I put that weight right back on. And at seven weeks, I'm all the way up at 114, which is probably not a realistic value. And I can sketch in my graph. And then you can see it's just that ending piece of our cubic function. So examining this, describe the turning points of the graph and its end behavior. So the ending behavior means after we get better, we would continue to put on weight or probably would stabilize our weight and not just get fatter and fatter and fatter. Um, what trends in the patient's weight does the graph suggest? Well, the, it suggests that as the patient gets sick and starts getting sicker, um, they start losing weight, which would be in this part of the graph. Losing weight. That's not losing. That's losing. So they lose weight. And then once they reach the bottom here and they start getting better, then they are going to continue to gain weight again back to their ideal weight that they started with.